An Indian billionaire has left 91 million pounds fortune to his dog in his will. And I'm here to bring you all the details. Thank you so much for joining us on One King Water Media. That's why here it's no formula. And my name is Sika. Thank you for joining. And if you are new here, make sure that you subscribe, you drop your comment, share with me wherever you are watching us from. And I'm going to give you a shout in the next episode. You know this is no formula. And as always, we bring you the latest in the world of entertainment, showbiz, trending issues, social issues, and what everything else in between. Now let's get it rolling. Now, an Indian businessman, a billionaire, I must say, has left hmm, a huge sum of money to his dog in his will and has got people talking that, yo, there are so many people that are dying of poverty, hunger, starvation, and you leave this much, this money to a dog. Now, let's get into the details. So, this billionaire and businessman is called Ratan Tata. And he has left a generous amount of his astonishing 91 million pound wealth to his beloved dog. A business tycoon died earlier this month at age 86. But now his German shepherd uh, dog that is called Tito has been awarded unlimited care as part of his will. Well, Tata was never married and had no children. Uh, meaning his fortune was split between whoever he chose. Business mogul decided before his tragic death that the deserving trio was his best friend Tito, that is the dog, uh, his long-term butler and general assistant, Kona Siaba, and also his cook uh, named uh, Rajan Shaw. And it is actually unclear how much of the 91 million has gone towards each party. But his brother, uh, Jimmy Tata, and his two half-sisters, Shirin and Diana, they are set to inherit part of his prowling estate as well. And in his will, Tata actually put clear provisions in place for his dog, Tito, saying that he will be given unlimited care for the rest of his life. I mean, <laughs> for the rest of the dog's life, he's going to be given unlimited care, all to be funded from the, yes, the, the money, the 91 million pounds. I mean, just imagine, I'm trying to, don't even try to convert it to your currency, whether it's Ghana cities, Naira, um, Kenyan shillings, Zim, as for Zimbabwe dollars, I don't even want to go there. But moving on, <laughs> he actually said that um, he's actually made a very good provisions for his dogs, so he's expecting that Anybody that's going to be in charge of distributing his estate and his wealth go according to exactly what he has put down. Now, this man was one of India's most uh, successful and internationally recognized business leaders with his conglomerate, the Tata Group. We all know those um, buses, right? Yes, it was very popular in Africa. I think in Ghana, it was so, so popular. Tata buses, your boarded some at a point and also owning the iconic British car brands Jaguar and also Land Rover. Now the Tata Group which he led uh, for more than two decades is one of India's largest companies with annual revenues in excess of 100 billion dollars and the business tycoon was also admitted to the Breed Candy Hospital in South Mumbai, India uh, before undergoing intensive care and he was later pronounced dead on October 10th, uh, 2024. And he has even had the likes of the Indian Prime Minister, so, so many political figures, business figures, public figures, uh, sending in their messages and their condolences as well. So, Charlie, that is the thing. I don't know. These people, these people, these people, man, these people... Rich people think differently. You cannot actually tell them what to do with their money, one. So you you are not entitled to it, even though some people actually got their money through some means where 
you would think that they would have to contribute to the society because of how they were able to make their money, how they succeeded in whatever business that they were doing. But that's another story for a different day. So let's look at this. Do you think, I feel there's somebody somewhere who would want to marry the dog or would want to be the critic of the dog. I, at this point, I'm sure if they, there's a list out that, oh, we these are the requirements for a dog nanny, lots of people are going to stop their work. Yes, they're going to quit their jobs and decide to apply for this particular position because, damn, damn, how, how? Lots of people, uh, wait, I mean, I don't even know what to say at this point, but let me hear from you. <laughs> uh, wherever you're watching us from, let me hear from you. What do you make of this one? And th this, this man is actually not going to be the first person in the world or wherever to actually leave such an amount of money to his pet. I mean, rich people, that's why I say rich people, they, they do their things differently. And wealthy people, they do their things differently. There, there's a difference between a wealthy person and a rich person. Yes. And so these people, they do their things differently. And you just, you just have to leave it like that. Because after all, what can you do about it? There's nothing. There are people who leave so much money. I think people have even left more than this amount of money to their pets. You go to Europe, I mean, Asia, they do all of these things. But I think I'm sure they've already contributed their quota to society. They've already given back to society. So you cannot really say much about this when they decide to also leave such a fortune to their pets. Because I'm sure their pet self would be wishing that they were human. Yeah, so that they can properly, properly enjoy. Because imagine if a human was left such an amount of money. Me, self, guy, you get it, you get it. But let me hear from you as well. What do you make of this? Do you see yourself doing such uh, if you ever become wealthy, you, you ever become this rich, you know, rich, rich, not just rich, rich, rich to the extent that you leave such an amount of money to your pet? Would you ever do that? Have you ever thought of that? What do you make of these uh, billionaires doing this particular act, leaving such an amount of money to their pets, especially the dogs and the cats? They've been enjoying so much. Um, I feel like people would want to become pets or, yes, pets to rich people or wealthy people in their next life. Are you also thinking the same? Thank you so much for joining us. This is No Formula. My name is Sika. Make sure to drop your comments and also as you are leaving, click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to click on